Good morning. And to quote Bad Chad, it's Friday. So, today is Scrape the Undercoating Day. And uh, I'm about halfway through the back wall on the cab. And from kneeling on that pad, uh, and running that fire making stick, I've got a fair amount done. As you can see, that's in the bottom. That's my uh, my pile of stuff. There. So I'm just gonna chill for a couple minutes, make sure it's not on fire because I started a couple already. And guys, got to be prepared to deal with that stuff. Let's see a little more here. Oh yeah, some of these putty knives. They can't be cold curved. I tried to bend it a little bit and uh, she shattered, but this worked out just as well. Anyway, yeah, so just little bits and pieces and in some spots you can just get under it and scrape it off. But the goal here is to get most of it pretty clean. One is just to Give me a surface to stick paint to with crap that won't flake off. But I'm going to give it a once over with. Where are you? Oh, yeah. This guy. This thing. The, you know, the one you hate the most in the shop. And that's where you lock the shop door so nobody comes in and gets a wire in the eye. And this. Once it's on its back, I should be able to scrape that in like 10 minutes because it's really nothing's holding it on. It's just like you sneeze in here and it falls off. So, yeah, once it's on its back, it'll clean up easy. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to keep plugging away after I have a intermission. Wait till a feeling comes back in my feet. And then I've just realized I haven't plugged any of these little holes yet. So I've got to get on that. And I guess I should have taken all the trim screws out before I made the mess. So I'm going to go on a hunt for those. Not that it matters, but that's what I'm going to do. And uh, continue on. I get this clean. I get it on its back. I clean the floor. I give everything a quick wire wheel and seam seal. And I can start slathering paint. And I am not going to spray it. I think I'll just roll it. It'll probably go fast enough for me. So that'll be that. Uh, anything else? Any questions? Okay. We'll see you in about a half hour. Well, moving right along. So if I was to really calculate this, my average speed would be like about one mile a week. But... That's what I got left to do, that, that center rail and that little, it's about a square foot left. But uh, the legs were not happy, so they want to rest. Kneeling on the pads, I doubled up, didn't help much. So, got to deal with the discomfort, I guess. Once that's done, then it's on to that, which I'm going to plunk this thing on its back. So then I'll clean that and then I'll roll paint on it right away because then I can paint it while it's laying on its back. It'll be easier instead of painting overhead. And then it can go ahead and dry. I don't have to do any welding there or anything. And then once I flip the cab back up, I'm done with that part up there. So that's the plan anyway. The Bruce getting that uh, red Krylon and this part and the dash, I think I'm going to go with just the rattle can. Because I can. Anyway, that's where we are right now. And I'll be back. Hopefully I'll remember to conclude this video at some point today, but hopefully I'll be back with this thing laying on his back. I think, I hope. 
just so we get some perspective. That's a gallon, and that's two thirds full. And that's not all of it. Like, this is just the uh, stuff that I scooped up with my hands. Yeah, so there's, there's a bit. So, yeah, there's more to go. But, uh, darn. The rest I can get with the vacuum, and I'm not measuring it. But, yeah, that's probably about a third of what's in there, so... We'll see how it goes with the rest of it. And then I gotta go on a hunt for a mat to lay this thing down on. Should be uh, interesting. And I gotta preserve all that cardboard, lay it out flat and get it to... It's smoky in here, why is that? Hmm, go figure. Anyway, I'm gonna vacuum. You don't wanna listen to that. Well, that ain't sketchy at all. Is it gonna go crash? Or do I have enough height left? Okay, I can record and make a disaster all at the same time. Ever so slowly. She didn't transfer over yet. There it goes. Now, come on. Nope, still. Oh, now I think we got her. And there we have it. Now I can get in and scrape that. Boy, does this ever look weird. Cool, huh? And yeah, we're solid, we're safe. Try that with a two post. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was my goal for today. Uh, I'm gonna go see my buddy for a little bit and then I'm gonna maybe come back and work on this for a couple more hours I have very little undercoating to scrape off I thought I had lots imagine that and I plan to stiffen the floor so that's next plus I can weld all them holes up from underneath I guess cool so that's where I am um, I don't know how much I'm going to get done today, but I'm just going to go after it and, uh, I'm just going to leave you guys to your vices and you can assume that I'm still working on this today and, uh, that will be, hey, what do I got to do? Oh, unhook that strap. Yeah, that'll be it for today as far as this video goes, because I'm going to forget. So... It rained a little bit. Oh, it's raining now. So anyway, I'd like to thank you both for watching. I got to go see my buddies for some gun wash. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of solvent to clean this off. And that gun wash takes it off. So just a little bit of de -gooing. And then that'll be ready to paint. That's going to get painted before I flip the cab back up. So for sure. Anyway. That's where I'm at, friends. Thank you both for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.